Hello, Karas35 and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM 2 Alien Hunters. We're going to get right back into the game we've left off. And assign the construction of the Guerrilla Tactics School. Guerrilla Tactics School is a really useful building and allows you to train Wookiees into any class type. It also allows you to unlock the squad upgrades. I am going to go now go and start playing through the cutscenes. I will be adding a skip here for anybody who doesn't want to sit through them. And I'll see you later. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. Okay. Reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from your old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. expecting to see my father in all that's happened I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet he's gone dad gave everything he had to get us this far this entire ship is his life's work I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself he used to talk about you a lot you can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started might not look it, but from here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed at what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. I saw Tigan muttering to himself in one of the corridors. I'm not sure he even knows. to see you on your feet again. Welcome to the bridge, the nerve center of our operation. The aliens have our entire world in their grip. Advent controls everything. Government, communications, industry, not to mention the military. And it's on us to take it all back. Resources and time are tight, Commander. It will be up to you to decide how to best use both. The ship is yours. An easy task. And continue our research. We can pass time by scanning at sites like this one. On your order, we'll start. All right. Anyway, I'm going to go in and get the research started. I'm going to start off with modular weapons. Being able to mod weapons right from the get-go is always a good thing to be able to do. Please consider providing us with a directive as soon as possible, Commander. I do find that area of research to be among the more intriguing options available. We'll begin work immediately. We're gonna go and investigate this disabled truck. Assistance contacts just tipped us off to a site that may be worth investigating. Commander, I have the VO capabilities will help us search the area for clues or other resources. It's going to take some time though. We've got a lot of ground to cover. 
And I have that voice acting reduced. I have made a number of interesting discoveries, Commander. Anyway, I'm going to go and decrypt this advent lockbox. It's part of Grimly's loot mod. And I'll tell you a little bit about the more about the mod when it's unlocked. Gonna go back to scanning. The outcome of this research can only further our advances, Commander. And there we go. Rare Kevlar Armor Valkyrie. Greetings, Commander. I'll assign some new research. I'm gonna go with hybrid materials. It's the shortest one to research, and it also does unlock the ability to research the first armor upgrade. I'm going to go and have a look at that armor now in the Valkyrie. Sorry, in the armory. I also had to recover from a corrupt save last after the last playthrough, so I had to reload the last save of that first mission. Basically, everybody got a new class. She ended up being a ranger. Increases defense by 15% against enemies within 8 tiles. Actually, it would be really handy for a ranger to have equipped, so I'm going to go and equip that. Also, going to go into weapon upgrades. Now, one of the mods I have installed is another one of Grimly's, which lets you upgrade everything. That includes being able to put some not one mod on swords and as well as mods onto your armor. For example, I can put Blade Flourish, which increases dodging and piercing by 10%. Nice little upgrade. We're going to put a laser gun side on the shotgun. I also have another mod which does let me put free upgrades on each of the standard guns. I do like it just for being able to have a lot of tactical flexibility in the early part, earlier part of the game. And I'll put a pattern on it. There we go. Anyway, I'm going to go back and continue that scan. Strategic resource located. An illegally operating transport truck broke down in the way, so upon seeing the Avenger moving in, the driver ran for cover. However, he quickly returned as our squad approached and asked for help with the repairs. After our engineers got the vehicle running again, the driver handed it over a few supplies into his appreciation. I'm going to go over here and investigate the intact structures. But before I do that, I'm going to go back to the armory and recruit some rookies. I'll explain why I recruited those two in a bit. And here's our first gorilla op. Hack for workstation on Advent Train. And our reward is an engineer. That is going to come in really handy. It's going to let me accelerate the building time on the gorilla tactics school. I'm going to run with a bunch of rookies and hopefully expand the amount of troops who have a class available to me. Just to have some secondaries or spares of each class or someone to have go down the other side of the development tree. 
Get a guy straight into this mission. Alright, I'm gonna stop making my way over towards the train. And there's our first squad. It is unfortunate I didn't, I didn't have a specialist to bring along on this mission. Because of the hacking we've got to do, but. I'll be fine without one. I want to see if I can get a little closer to them before making the ambush. I'll have her go on Overwatch 2 and I'll have Heinrich here shoot at the admin officer. Decent hit. Now hopefully the Overwatch fire will drop the other will drop the officer. Also heavily wounded the normal trooper too. And I'll go and use the um, sword attack to finish that guy off. You got a lot of rangers for being able to do that. Gonna keep on having everybody move up towards the train. I don't, I don't have the luxury of um, being able to set up an ambush, but being able to set everybody up in Overwatch pays off. If an enemy group does walk into our sightline, we do get a more or less a free attack on them. And it looks like our second spawn, a sectoid. Sectoids in this also start off with a lot more abilities than they did in the first game. They can raise dead advent troops or your own XCOM soldiers as zombies. They can also mind control right off the bat. As well as they also look much more intimidating than they did in the first game. So an all a nice improvement on their design I think. Let's see what I can do from back here. Not really great shots. I'll take a risk and throw a grenade at that trooper. Because he probably will be the one who will do any real damage to anyone in the squad. It's quite often a lone sectoid's often more of an annoyance than a real threat. I'll have these two guys move up instead of just 
taking the rather bad shot they'd have here. And as you can see, it raised that advent officer up as a zombie. They're a melee attacking unit, but they also drop if you do take them sectoid, so I'm going to focus on doing that. Again, have Ice Pick here running and use a sword. 8 damage. Nice damage roll. As you can see, the zombie's gone down with the sectoid. I'll have everybody here cover hop. And I'll have these two into Earth watches to end their turn. As we move closer and closer in on that train car. And you can move up like that. And you can move there. And I'll have everyone going to Overwatch. Hmm. Got to be getting close to the next spot, to the next group of enemies by now. I'll just have a double move to keep her up with the rest of the squad. Looks like that group is on the other side of a train car. But for the moment we've got a group of reinforcements to deal with. So I'm going to readjust everybody into cover. Hmm. Looks like we're coming over the train car. I will have these guys to jump into Overwatch. I'm also going to take a, another little bit of a risk here, and well, even her out in, in cover to sort of attack that Advent Trooper. And hope that that Sectoid decides to use a power or move. And all three of them decide to miss at pretty much point blank range. Brilliant shooting, guys. Ooh. Honestly, you did not expect that sectoid to do that. I'm going to use grenades here. Probably will damage a bit the cargo on the train, but being able to get to that advent office is important. None of that would happen if one of you actually managed to hit one of them. I really don't want to leave her exposed. She should be able to get line of sight on that damn sectoid. <sighs> and I'll take a wild shot. And raising another zombie. That's going to be a pain in the ass to deal with. Oh, come on! Okay, 
This is a sex toy and zombie dealt with. Lockbox and an Illyrium core. I'm just going to take a risk here, I don't really have the time to play it that safely. Oh, We are enjoying this game, I swear. Let's just turn out quickly to be a disaster. For once it's affecting the AI. Enemies on the move. Just it up. Both times. I actually feel a little better now. On we'll have you move in here. Oh, god damn it. We need to hit one of these guys. I have no choice but to move in here. Yeah, no, actually, I'm feeling a little better now. Had to get unlucky sooner or later. Right, I've got no choice but to hack this workstation this turn. And probably will not be gaining the supply cache. There's room for us to expand our facilities on board the Avenger, Commander. But we'll need more engineers to clear up space for construction. We'll start work on the new facility. Just gonna have her move straight into high V cover. Ah, <sighs> crap. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Teigen, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you. I'll we'll take a few risks and keep on holding it for the reward. Planted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, All right. I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one. Additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. And the number miss. Mr. Bad Luck seems to be hit, hitting my advent trooper as much as these either of my troops. Okay, reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from your. Alright, let's cover hop. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Hopefully, this time. So anybody who says the RNG in this game won't just completely screw you over, they're wrong. <sighs> just thankful that hit. 
Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. <sighs> Not a very good outcome. Probably could have played better, a bit better running into the uh, spawn as well as that, those reinforcements was really bad luck. I honestly didn't think they were still on the other side of the train. I'm going to have her go down the um, assault tree. And promoted to a grenadier. That's going to be handy. At least I'll have one squad here for the next mission. Original objectives, Commander. Now that we have more staff on the engineering team, we can start queuing up space and facilities, Commander. We should keep looking for more recruits. We'll need them to staff the facilities once it is built. I'm going to assign the engineer here, and as you can see, it'll reduce the construction time by 50%. So I'll have the guerrilla tactics school done in four days. And I'm going to stop this episode here. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button.